similar situation maybe with North Carolina coming off the big home win against Duke. Is Clemson a live dog tonight for that reason? How are you breaking this one down? Yeah, I think they are, Steve. And I'll get this out of the way first. Just give Teddy the ammunition that he needs to counter. North Carolina, there's no denying, right, that they're the best team in the ACC. They've been rolling 11-1 and last 12 overall. The only loss, kind of a head-scratcher, right? Last Tuesday, they go down by just one point at Georgia Tech. Most of the conference wins for the Tar Heels have been by double digits. I recognize all that. But, Steve, you identified kind of the start of the handicap for me. Classic flat spot coming off the win over Duke on Saturday. I mean, you guys probably saw that game. There was so much emotion in the building. Really hard to follow up. And it it was a really impressive performance, again, from North Carolina. Are they going to be able to match that on Tuesday? Um, Tonight, I'm saying no. Again, let's go back. We talked about this concept with our last game, Michigan State, Minnesota. Last month, North Carolina goes to Clemson. They closed as three-point underdogs. Now, they opened minus eight and a half. Yes, we have to adjust based on how North Carolina's looked over the last month or so. But I think this is an over-adjustment from the odds makers. The market seems to concur because they look at the wagetalk.com live odds screen right now. Clemson down to plus seven, plus six and a half, depending on your book. And what you need to know about that first North Carolina Clemson meeting, guys, Clemson couldn't hit water from a boat. They were one for 18 from three. North Carolina, teams are going eventually. I swear to you, I promise they will. This will happen. Teams are going to start hitting threes against North Carolina. It will come. You cannot continue to hit. North Carolina cannot have opponents continue to hit like whatever it is, 26% from three for the year. That's insane. That's just begging for regression. I know Clemson struggled, Teddy. They've dropped six of nine overall, including the game to North Carolina. But get this, last three losses for Clemson by a total of just four points. I'll take Clemson plus the points here. So, first of all, I love the regression monster. I'm letting you know I'm stealing that from you. That's a great line. Uh, You know, the regression monster is coming for you. I love it. Uh, so well done. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to give you credit if I remember, but I'm hijacking that line. It's beautiful. Okay. But yeah. when we actually look at North Carolina's track record after facing Duke, I just went back for the last five years while you were talking, they've had no problems. ATS in the game after Duke, lots of blowouts, lots of wins. I think they only lost once straight up, uh, in the last five years, the meeting after facing the blue devil. So We understand, in theory, it's supposed to be a letdown, but the results don't show that. Um, What's your take? I'll say modern college basketball, Teddy, as you know, long-term historical trends, it's kind of tough. It's getting tougher and tougher for me to apply. There's so much turnover year to year. Now, if if that was the only reason here, if if there wasn't all some of the other stuff I talked about, I I would maybe be a little bit leerier about backing Clemson, but it's not the only thing. I look at that first meeting, the fact North Carolina closed as an underdog. Yes, we do have to change. Obviously, they deserve to they deserve to be favored by more than three here. But I just think it's an over adjustment. And I I again go back to the three point shooting numbers. If there's a team, an opponent for North Carolina that was certainly due to start knocking them down from behind the arc, it would be Clemson. I you, you can't count on a team going one for 18 two times against you from three. You just can't. Clemson, they're a desperate team. You know, Virginia, I guess, is stepping up. Um, I was dead wrong. I had a play in full candor. I I had a play in Miami last night. Uh, Not going to win many games when you score 38 points or whatever in over 40 minutes. But Virginia's stepping up as that number three team in the ACC. But I I think Clemson, not that long ago, they were kind of perceived as the number three team. This is just a lot of points uh, in Again, what I think is a flat spot for a North Carolina team that is due to come back to earth somewhat. 